What's good, my people? Today, we're putting 95 96 Bulls 72 and 10 regular season record back in this year in the modern NBA. So it's Jordan, Pippen, Kuko. I mean, Jordan, Pippen, Robin, Kuko, Harper, Steve Kerr, Luke Longley, uh, Randy Brown. And then I don't know if this is the actual. Oh, yeah, this is everybody. Yeah, this is the full team. So 95 96 Chicago Bulls. Now, what's going to happen here is Michael Jordan. Is going to be an untouchable. He won't be traded. Scottie Pippen is going to be an untouchable. He won't be traded. Dennis Rodman, we're going to add him to untouchables. And Tony Kukoc, we're adding him to untouchables. So we're going to keep the big three of Jordan Pippen and Rodman together. Whatever happens with the rest of the team is basically up to 2K. I mean, these were the catalysts of the 95-96 Bulls. So we're going to keep them together. And we're going to see how they fare in the modern era. So the starting lineup is Ron Harper, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Luke Longley, Tony Kukoc is the sixth man, Steve Kerr is the seventh man, and of course, Phil Jackson was the head coach. Now, can the Chicago Bulls run the modern era the same way they ran, you know what I'm saying, 95-96? Pippen had 34-7-4, Jordan 25-5-7, and seven. Tony Kukoc, Luke Longley is hooping next game versus the Indiana Pacers, they win by 20, and this is... Right now, current roster. Everybody on the exact team except for the 95-96 Bulls. Halliburton did solid. So let's go ahead and make it through the first 10 games where we at 3-7-8-9. Cleveland is 10. Make sure y'all hit that sub button too, man. Subscribe. Drop a like. You feel me if y'all enjoying the video. Bulls start out with a 5-5 five and five record. So definitely not getting the 72-10 and 10 that they ended up getting. They are sitting in 8th in the Eastern Conference right now. But definitely not getting... That 72 and 10, like they had in the actual 95 96 season. If you are new to the channel, we do 10 game sample size simulations almost every season. We simulate the first 10 games, see how the team looks, kind of make it to the all star break, things of that nature, and just kind of see. Now, call it early. I'm saying call it early. I say the Bulls lose in the Eastern Conference Finals, or I say they make it to the finals and they lose. And then my third option would be like they're a play in team. I'm all over the place here, but that's just what I think. All right, they're not looking too good. 30 and 25 record at the All-Star break. NBA standings, they are seven. So if the playoffs started right now, the Bulls would definitely be a play-in team, but they're four games behind the number two seed. So it's really not bad basketball being played. Jordan is averaging 28, five and five. Let's see. Shooting percent is not bad. 57, 35, 84. You feel me? Scotty Pippen, 21, seven and six. 51, 36, 67. Tony Kukoc shooting 33% from the three-point line. But Tony Kukoc was actually a shooter back in the day. Now, we don't expect Dennis Rodman to score, but he is averaging 14 boards a game. That's pretty insane. So the Bulls are seventh in the Eastern Conference right now. I don't know where they finish. And they're struggling in the modern NBA. Not playing good basketball. Not doing good. Triangle offense is not looking good in the modern NBA. Yeah, I'm just convinced that Luka's going to win MVP this year, and I'm also convinced that 2K loves Luka because 37, 11, and 10 at the start of the season. I mean, for MVP, is crazy. Of course, Wimby wins Rookie of the Year. Russell, six man. Wimby, depoy. Paul Reed's going to always win Most Improved. Luka Clutch player. Mike Malone is the coach of the year. First team All-NBA. No Jordan, no Pippen. Second team All-NBA see Scottie Pippen. Averaging 21, 8, and 6. Okay, Michael Jordan makes third team All-NBA. Is Scotty carrying Mike? Well, Mike is 33, but is Scotty carrying Mike? I don't know. Mike made first team All-Defense. Scotty made second team All-Defense. So did Dennis Rodman made second team All-Defense. I'm simulating the play-in, and we have the Chicago Bulls fifth. So they got out of the play-in spot. They must have lost a tiebreaker to the Hawks, but they are fifth, and they play the Hawks First round, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen is probably, I was going to say, probably too much for Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. And I'm right for one. We got the Bulls going to the next round against the first seed at New York Knicks. So y'all got the Knicks being first in the East with a full healthy roster for the full year. Knicks one is 1-1. One, one, okay, 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two, two. Interesting. 3-2 New York. Are we going to lose here? 3-3. Three, three. We're going to take game seven. I said, what did I say? Did I say Eastern Conference Finals? I think I said that. I think I said Eastern Conference Finals or they were going to be a playing team. They was close to the playing game and they might not make the Eastern Conference Finals because New York is hoping New York beat the Chicago Bulls. Goodness gracious. Scotty 25, Jordan 23. How does this affect Michael Jordan's legacy? 
He loses to Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle. How does that affect it? I don't know. Wow, OKC Dallas. I could see that being Western Conference Finals. OKC smacking the Lakers 4-1. I don't know about that. I don't know about them smacking Phoenix 4-1 either. But I could see them get into the Western Conference Finals. And we have the Knicks versus the Thunder in the finals. Call it now. Thunder and six. Thunder and five. Wow. I'm getting good at this. Chet Holmgren gets finals MVP. If he gets a championship and finals MVP in his rookie season and Wimby gets rookie of the year, that's going to be pretty tough. I'm not going to lie. We don't have any retirements that matter this year. And the Bulls, I don't know if they're going to get a decent draft pick, but, you know, it's whatever. They didn't win the championship this season. Fifth seed in the Eastern Conference. So hopefully they can come back next season with a little more, you know, oomph in their step. All right. So season number two, we still got Jordan, Pippen, Rodman, Jalen Duran has now joined the Chicago Bulls. So maybe Jalen Duran starts at center over Luke Longley. Still got Kuko Harper, Kerr, Landry Shamit pickup. Okay, and I don't see, wow, they got the guy from Duke, uh, Kyle Phil, Philopsky, whatever. Yeah, they got him. That's crazy. Hey, Bulls might be decent this year. Let's get through these first 10 and see. They was 5-5 five and five last year in the first 10. And they're starting off 4-1, and 5-1. One, and one. Okay, Chicago hooping, 9-1 and one record. They start off 9-1. and one. Who is, what's the lineup? Yeah, Jalen Duran. And Dennis Rodman, like, in today's NBA, this is terrible because this is no spacing. You know what I mean? In today's NBA. But for them to be starting out the season 9-1, and one, they could potentially be looking at, you know what I'm saying, a deep playoff run. Jordan's averaging 31 good shooting splits. Scottie Pippen, 25, 8-8. Eight and eight. Great shooting splits. Scottie Pippen is shooting 48% from three. Jalen Duran is averaging a double-double. 67% from the field is great basketball by that young man. I kind of like Detroit, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, they're struggling this year. But Detroit Pistons do have some pretty decent, you know, options with Duran, Kay Cunningham, Jaden Ivey's hooping. The Thompson twin, when he was getting minutes, he was killing. Even his brother in Houston, he's getting minutes and he's killing. It's like the Thompson twins just really needed an opportunity because both of them was averaging like a double-double and like two blocks a game over a multiple game span so i'm high on the thompson twins potential for sure much better record this year man the bulls are 42 and 12 first in the eastern conference so that is great basketball let's see if any of the stats change jordan still averaged 31 pippen averaging 23 now jalen durham went up to 16 and 11 tony kukoc 14 and 6 shooting better from three this year oh he finished the season shooting pretty decent for three last year but shooting better from three 38 uh, percent Let's see, Ron Harper shooting 38% from three. Steve Kerr shooting 52% from three. So these boys is adjusting. These boys are adjusting. Oh, you got Dennis Rodman averaging 10 rebounds. Jalen Duran averaging 11 rebounds. Scottie Pippen averaging five rebounds. This is a high rebounding basketball team right now. And that's probably serving them why they're 42 and 12. I have not really like dove deep into the stats on this game to see if you could like look at a team let me see if you could look at a team by like offensive ratings and you know things of that nature let's see division points per game so you can do points per game you can do loose uh points allowed per game you can do losing streak conference games behind division record but i don't think you can do like you know first in the league in rebounds or something of that nature you can see their at home stats. Yeah, I don't know if you well, yeah, you can't do it. They just show you all different types of stats on here. I thought, I thought, you know what I'm saying? I tried to get a little deeper into the analytics, how they be doing, but you can't see all that stuff. All right, I don't know what it is with the foreigners when the MVPs with triple doubles, but I mean, if anybody else is gonna do it outside of Luca, it definitely would have been him. 28, 12, and 10. Scott Clayton is executive of the year. Why is this going backwards? Okay, MVP, rookie of the year, Alexander Saar. Nasri, six man, Wimby Depoy again, Bones Highland, most improved, Jordan Clutch player, Phil Jackson, coach of the year. So we finished with a 68 and 14 record. First in the conference, but they have our offense, defense, and overall as 99 all across the board. Scott Clayton, executive of the year. Let's see. No first team all NBA for Jordan or Pippen. They both make second team. Good basketball. Uh, no first team all defense. 
We got Jordan, okay, Pippen. Jordan and Pippen, second team all defense. That's that's not, you know what I'm saying? That's not bad right there. We know we're first. We played the Toronto Raptors in the first round, and I'm not even sure what their team looks like. Well, they got James Harden on the Raptors now. And I don't think, and they drafted uh, Steven, Stephen Castle. I hope I don't mess his name up. I don't know if I like this. I mean, AC, but I don't know if I really like this. I'm going to simulate the round. If we lose to Toronto, then I just know that it's bad ball, right? All right, cool. Milwaukee, let's see. Dame, Jerry, Trent, Jada McDaniels, of course, Giannis, Bobby Portis, all that good stuff. Simulate one, two. This is this is Chicago basketball because Giannis can't shoot, and they swept them. Wow. Here we go. Donovan Mitchell, 94. Evan Mobley is a 90. 2K loves the Cavs. Game one, like I said, 2K loves the Cavs, 28, 8, and 12. Where's Jordan? 14, 2, and 8. You put a 14 while Donovan Mitchell comes in with 36 and 10. All right, bro. Okay. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2. Okay. The Bulls are in the NBA Finals. Why are the Jazz taking the Mavericks to 6 with this roster? Don't like it. Ooh, they got Ben Simmons. Ooh, John Wall. Ooh, Spencer Den. Why is this team so guard heavy? Yeah, you. but I mean, they got to the Western Conference Finals. But that's just bad ball. Bulls won two. Yeah, Bulls win this. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. I might be talking too fast. Wow, I am talking too fast. Does Chicago lose to Luka Doncic? Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan can't hold Luka in the game seven to win the NBA championship in season two? Like, can we get... Oh, 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 boy. They won by one. 26, 13, and 10. Jordan 19, 4, and 4. Luka 25, 7, and 10. Efficient. And Kyrie... Oh, they got Obi Toppin. Oh my, bro! Wow, the Mavericks win the NBA championship. Luka, thirty-two, eight and nine. He shot forty-nine, ninety-two, forty-three in the NBA Finals against Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan. At this point, right? What happens, LeBron? You got to play one more season. Uh, I thought they said James Harden. Oh, that did say James Harden. James Harden will give you another season, but I don't know. I don't know, Bulls. I don't know. All right, yeah, the Bulls, uh, they made some good moves, and I fully expect them to win the championship this year because now you add Jalen Brunson to the mix. So you got Jordan, Pippen, Brunson, Duran, Rodman, Kukoc, Harper, Kerr, Brooke Lopez, and Kyle Filowski. Yeah, this is this is a solid, solid team right here. Not going to lie. I'm actually just going to go straight to the All-Star game. I want to know what the lineup is, though. Brunson, Jordan, Pippen. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm actually going straight to the All-Star game. I don't even need to see 10-game sample size. Of these guys right here if they don't win a championship it's just a failure okay it's shaky it's shaky it's shaky 35 and 20 at the all-star break second in the eastern conference but i mean how are they hoping because with jalen brunson it shouldn't look this way jordan 27 pippen 21 brunson 20 basically shooting 50 40 83 i mean jalen Duran's averaging a double double steal you feel me tony cool coach is doing his thing dennis robin still around nine rebounds Brooke Lopez is not doing anything for this roster. And I know he's 37, but goodness gracious, can you help the team out? 35 and 20? Hmm. I don't know. And MVP, I'm going to go. Oh, we. It's always tricky third season MVP. First two seasons always be Luka or Luka and Jokic. And then you get somebody like random. Like it'd be like Darius Garland or, you know, just somebody random that you're not expecting to win MVP. Maybe Wimby. Or something, depending on the Spurs. My MVP selections, Luka, Wimby, Jordan. No, they're not going to give it to Jordan because of Brunson. Darius Garland or Wimby. Come on, man. I know ball. I know ball. 34, 9, and 10 on 50, 40, 84 split to Dylan Harper. Rookie of the year, Jairus Walker, six man. Wimby, three straight deep points. Isaiah Collier, uh, most improved. Donovan Mitchell, clutch player. JB Bickerstaff, coach of the year. Yeah, you know all NBA first team right here is four foreign players and one American. All NBA second team only has Scottie Pippen. All NBA third team sees a Michael Jordan. Defensive team, Scottie Pippen on first, Jordan on second. Simulate the play in. The Bulls finish the season second, 52 and 30. First round matchup versus the Heat. I'm just going to simulate the round. You know, you, you always got to be weary of the Heat. Okay, here we go. Detroit Pistons. This is why I said I like the Pistons, though. K. Cunningham improves. Jaden Ivey improves. Asar Thompson improves. Isaiah Stewart is going to be Isaiah Stewart. Jalen Durham will probably still be in Detroit, and he improves. Marcus Sasser is pretty decent for Detroit as well. I mean, I know some of this is a different roster and, like, Klay Thompson and all of this good stuff, but the real Detroit Pistons, 
you know, they can make a splash, but they're not beating Jordan Pippen and Brunson. Just not happening. Indiana Pacers, Halliburton, Nimhart, Benedict, Mathurin. So this team basically looks the same. You get to the finals last year, you lose to Luka in seven. You're back in the finals, and you're back against Luka again. So can we redeem ourselves? 1-0, 1-1, 2-1, 2-2, 3-2, 4-2, 5-2, 6-2, 7-2, 8-2, 9-2, 10-2, 11-2, 12-2, 13-2, 14-2, 15-2, 16-2, 17-2, 18-2, 